Apparently this is from Natalie in Malaysia. We don't need an introduction. You have descriptions and titles. You know what this is. Let's just, let's just open it. All right, I guess to be a little bit official, this is my Mossery sketchbook that came in today. I ordered the mixed media sketchbook and I have been hearing such amazing things about these sketchbooks that I had to get one. And I thought it would be cool to share the opening experience as well as my first impressions with you guys. So let's take a look at what's in here. Comes in this really cute paper envelope sort of thing that is the kind of thing that you think you'll want to keep it in all the time, but you know that you won't. <laughs> he sent me a card. Super cute paper ruler. And I got mine with the script embossing of my nickname Arlie on there. I think this is the Lava Periwinkle cover. They have a bunch of different covers that you can choose from. As far as I know, you can only get these sketchbooks on their website, but I have had no issues working with them. And the shipping was actually really fast. It came from Malaysia. The original estimated time was like seven to 12 days. And I just ordered it, mm, I think last, Wednesday or something like that. So it was less than a week. Today is Monday. So inside there's, I can write my name and I find one here. Got some little pockets, some graph pages. This I was actually, I've become more and more excited about the longer I've had it. I love these circles for like values and goals and purposes and you can create little charts and things like that. I'm really planning to use some of this inspirational stuff and some of the planning materials that they give you in the beginning. I think that's great. And then they have a divider before the actual mixed media paper. And this paper appears to be really nice thickness. It's got a tiny bit of texture to it. Um, I do wanna compare it to the texture in my Canton XL mixed media sketchbook. I know that's a really popular um, affordable sketchbook for a lot of people. So I'm going to compare them for you. I chose this one to compare just because it's really popular for a lot of artists. This is the larger, not the largest sign, I think the largest one is 11 by 14. This is 9 by 12 and that's what I have been using next to the Moss Ray sketchbook. So you can see they're a lot different size, obviously. But I decided to go with something a little bit smaller this time to try. The papers are both pretty white, which I prefer. I don't really like um, papers to get a get bit more yellow. I think the brightness of the paper shines through a lot more, excuse the ink on my fingers, when you have something lighter like this. As far as the texture goes, I think the Mossery sketchbook has a tiny bit more texture to it. It doesn't necessarily look much rougher when you pick them up and look at them and compare them, but I'm really excited to see how the Mossery sketchbook handles water colors. So for the actual illustration of this sketchbook, I thought it would be really fun to go all out and use a ton of different types of media. So for the painting of this piece, I'm going to be using Copic markers, watercolors, gouache, metallic watercolors, and some various colored pencils. And I think we're ready to put this paper to the test. Let's get started.
final thoughts on this sketchbook, I'm really in love with it. Even though I prefer the larger size of the Canson XL mixed media sketchbook, this one holds up so much better to different media types. I really couldn't be happier with this and I'm really looking forward to using it for more mixed media stuff like this. So thanks so much if you've watched all the way to the end, it means so much to me. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see as always, and I'll see you in the next one guys.